His opponent, Leo Nogueira, was hurt at the Pan Am, so yeah. I believe he got hurt in the absolute. He was on an upward trajectory. Yeah. He was going to yeah. do very well, yeah. but he did get injured along the way, and I think he had to stop. So we could have potentially seen this match at the Pan Ams. Bouchesha shoots a double and scores early with two points. Now, I don't know if you saw in the, in the background there, Homolo took his gi off and his belt and put it on the mat. So I, I don't know if that's his retirement from competition. We'll have to follow not. up on that. That would be news indeed. Yeah, but he did leave his belt and gi top on the mat. So, Leo Nogueira, he's got the deep half, right? Yeah. Bouchesh is fighting for the far arm. It looks like he, now there's, uh, Leo Nogueira's got an underhook, kind of similar to what Bernardo Faria uses right yeah, here. Yeah, it's the Bernardo Faria special. Yeah, there. yep. The only difference is he's not near as far underneath. Yeah, as Bernardo would normally yeah, be. Yeah, yes. But he still has put quite a bit of pressure. Bouchesh is going to stave that off, though, with that knee on the stomach. And that cross face, right? Yeah. That's not comfortable. No, it is not. And he, he, he did a good job of countering a near sweep by putting the foot on the hip, basically a knee on the stomach position. Scores two to zero. Bouchesha in the black gi on top from uh, Checkmat. Yeah. Leads after two minutes. He's also got two advantages to his name. Leo Nogueira, for his part, is sporting zeros across the board. Working himself into this double underhook half guard position. Wow, there he, he got a quick sweep. Bouchesha. Back in a close guard. Shows the value of patience, I guess, right? Yeah. Came up brilliantly with the double underhook position. So all even, uh, with the exception of Bouchesha, has two advantage points. Bouchesh is really working for that right hand in the collar. Yep. Nice deep collar grip. Now he switched his legs from uh, just a normal guard to that body triangle. Why do you think he did that, Sean? Uh, it, it, you know, this ap appears to be, he's, well, he's looking for a sweep there. <laughs> It looked like Leo Nogueira was also trying that very low pass. I think, believe they might call it Sao Paulo pass. Hmm. Mistaken. It might be the name. The but Godoy pass? Yes, yes, yes. So maybe he was locking the body triangle to prevent that. Now he's going to feed the collar to the right hand here. That's a good collar grip. He may try to pull across that arm for a, a Bravo style. He's going to lift him if Leo Nogueira's head gets too high. He's going cross choke here. He might try to pull his arm across as well and get a Bravo choke from in the closed guard. Do you think this is just a setup for an arm? Uh, no, I think he's squeezing. <laughs> and, you know, he, he might try to pull this arm on, on Bouchesha's right side across. Might get a little deeper. There he goes. Adjust the, the hand a little deeper in the collar. It's a good idea. He's trying. 
Sasha goes for a loop choke. Now, really nice active guard as far as moving Leo Nogueira from side to side. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's slower guards to be in. Yeah. It is two to two at just about the five minute mark, although Bushesha leads with two advantages, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Jerome Dayton, senior announcer and media Leads the cross lapel again, but a little bit better underneath the arm rather than over the arm. Now he may be looking for an omoplata here. Nope, Nogueira steps out of it. So when you see that hand in the back there, you start worrying about triangles, right? Yes. Triangles are omoplatas. Yeah. yeah. It is a great job of getting over the knee line. Leona Guerra is in very good position right now. Yeah, that is heavy. Yeah. Got an underhook on the left side and good grip with the knee on the right. Going to try to lift his hips high enough to free the left knee and slide it down to the ground. Six and a half minutes in. Head position is good. Pass is nice. Wow. You may see a pass. Really right. impressive. Yeah. To so square those hips up. Maybe face Bouchesha's legs with his hips. Still walking, walking. Oh, yes. wow. It's nice. good to be true. Yeah. Nice recovery from Bouchesha, but it's not over yet. Now Leo Nogueira is going to come to the back here. Going to step over the legs. And go to his left side. Yep. After this, guys, we're going to see Antonio Braganetto against Rodrigo Cavaca for the Ultra Heavyweight Championship. Shesha going on the leg now. Now Leo Nogueira evened it all up, so now it's all dead even. 2-2, two, two, two advantages each with those near passes. Shesha trying to take the back, will come up. So Leo Nogueira has been known to go for straight footlocks before, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going. Yeah. He's going to sacrifice the suit, but he he's he is going. Boshesha says, "Nah, it's nothing." Uh oh. One minute left. <laughs> the Alliance guys are screaming for an advantage for yeah. that, but <laughs> none of the referees of the three no. seem to have uh, seen one there. No. Leo Nogueira has done a wonder really wonderful job of shutting Bouchesha down. I mean, Bouchesha's yeah, I mean, usually Bouchesha is spinning circles around guys. Yeah. But he's been really kind of held in place by Nogueira. Yeah.
Now there might be a toe hold attempt here by Bouchesha. Yes. And Noguera. Oh, yeah. Dueling toe holds. Now, again, Noguera needs to be careful because I don't remember which knee it was that he injured. Yeah, that's right. But t funny things happen in these situations. Yep. Yep. It's all even, so they're both going on the feet. It's five, se three seconds. Time. Uh oh. Oh. Wow. No nope. double advantages. Still tied. It's going to be a referee's decision. Yeah, this is what nobody wants. We're leaving it up to the ref or referees. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's right. Plural. Tough decision. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Potentially, maybe you're going to give it to Leo Nogueira for that near passing s sequence. I don't know. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2011 Super Heavyweight Champion. Gold medal number four for Alliance in the men's side. Yeah. They already have two in the women's.